action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, one of my other walk-along glider designs. Uh, this one weighs maybe 15 milligrams, a much smaller one, roughly three and a half inch wingspan maybe. Uh, this one was made with a deli slicer, so I can get this foam even thinner than with the bandsaw, and it's smoother also of that nice uh, blade that doesn't actually tear through it, it just cuts it clean. So now this design flies just under one and a half miles per hour, about the same speed as that larger 70 milligram glider that was flying earlier. Uh, again this thing is very slow, easy to maneuver in tight spaces. If I want I can fly it around in circles around, around myself. A quick demonstration here. This is a pretty good test uh, to determine a design stability. Although this one didn't really show much stability there, it spun around due to, due to turbulence from crossing my own weight. So we'll try it one more time and see if uh, you can do it. Again, just having a much smaller plane like this, it is more challenging to fly it in circles. Got to really watch it. And it does it again. So, pretty difficult plane to fly around in circles, mainly because of the small size. If it is set up right, it can actually do a few going around. Me. And so, even with uh, those minor issues, it's still a pleasant plane for flying around in tight spaces. And it can do the same sort of flip as its larger brother. Let's see if we can get one here. Well, I did it, but it's hard to say whether it'll show on the video. And so, with that, I'll leave you with the 15 milligram walk-along glider.